Hello and welcome back. And in this uh, video, we are going to be uh, starting with uh, this app creation. And I have a brand new project uh, created and uh, there is uh, nothing in it uh, at this point. It's uh, plain out of the box. Uh, what has been, uh, what, what usually is created when you create file new project from Xcode. Uh, and I'm gonna make sure that I have a different um, different type of device selected because I want to keep this device, uh, this UI in place so we can actually refer this uh, when we are creating our um, uh, UX, okay? So I'm gonna set, settle this aside. Um, let Xcode process its files. And uh, while it's waiting for device, uh, let's go ahead and launch this. So it can build. And uh, first thing we can do is uh, we can uh, start uh, creating these uh, UI pieces so we can get the UI out of the way and then start putting the functionality in place uh, for these uh, for this app. Okay, so while it's building, um, let me go ahead and open main dot storyboard. Okay, so uh, our our first view, uh, our initial view, um, as it's actually uh, pointed by this arrow, or uh, you can actually select any uh, view controller and take a look at its uh, property inspector if it's the uh, initial view or init is initial view controller or not. If you don't have that, uh, simply uh, select that and uh, check it. Okay, so this way you have your uh, view controller ready to go, and then we have our simulator launched so we're gonna put this in background while it's working and we're gonna start creating this um, this UI okay so if you notice uh, what we have here is a uh, gradient uh, background so what we're gonna do uh, for now is uh, we're gonna simply assign our view controller this color and then we're gonna add a uh, we're gonna add a uh, gradient view uh, on the top of a uh, gradient property on the top of it later on using code okay so because because we're going to be creating our own control that is going to be uh, used to provide this gradient effect so first of all let's uh, go ahead and launch object uh, object library so you can either click here to launch object library um, in new version of Xcode or older version of Xcode you would have it actually on this side on the uh, right hand uh, bottom corner, okay? Or you can simply uh, press Command Shift L to launch it um, uh, through the keyboard shortcut, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, there we have it. Uh, we're gonna search for view or UI view. And we're gonna draw, drag and drop this UI view on view controller. Okay, um, and uh, we're gonna settle it right somewhere in the middle of the screen. Give it a custom color, and we're gonna use this eyedropper to select this color and simply leave it at there. Okay, now we're gonna use auto layout uh, to constrain it zero point from all sides and gonna add that constraint there we go and once we have constraints set uh, there's one modification that we need to do is uh, you see this overlap uh, this white uh, white background uh, that's actually showing up here we want to actually cover that space as well so you simply select that view that you have created go to your um, your attributes are basically for the auto layouts um, and select line top and change this from second item from safe area to super view. Okay, and change the constraint to be zero. So it's gonna cover the entire screen. Now we're gonna do the same thing for our bottom layout because what's gonna happen in this uh, in this version uh, where we are showing iPhone 8, 
uh, it's gonna look fine but if you change this to show on iPhone XS or something for example let's say if we select iPhone XS here if you notice we have that white uh, showing up as well because when we constrained it it constrained to the safe area what's called safe area so you have this uh, this bottom uh, bar showing up uh, like you know in the phone as you can see it's uh, it always shows up uh, in your iPhone XS or newer version of iPhones so we want to actually cover that space as well so what we're gonna do is uh, we're simply gonna select align bottom to safe area and we're gonna say that this first item should be super view and then gonna constrain this to zero and there we go all right so this is looking better now so I'm gonna go ahead and and run it one more time gonna zoom out a bit <coughs> excuse me now while it's actually installing the app uh, let's go ahead and start putting some more controls in there uh, so we're gonna go oh there we go okay so we have our screen show up, showing up nice uh, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna launch object library one more time and we're gonna be working with object library quite a lot so uh, uh, you're just gonna get into habit of like you know using the keyboard shortcut so you can access that easily we're gonna grab another UI view and we're gonna drop it somewhere in the middle of the screen and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger there we go that looks good okay and now uh, what we're going to do is uh, we are going to simply select this and control C control V basically make another copy of this and this new copy we're gonna resize this a bit so my computer is lagging a bit because uh, I have a bit too many processes running on so okay so let's go ahead and select this UI view one more time uh, for some reason Xcode is running slow so I'm not sure okay um, let me do this let me delete this UI view and let's create it to be the object library so I'm gonna drop a new UI view that's better inside here okay and this one uh, we want to actually size it somewhere at this and we're gonna give it like constraints and everything so uh, let's go ahead and give it a constraint so we'll see like you know how this is gonna look like so I'm gonna open constraints uh, for the auto layout, and uh, what I want to what we want to do is uh, I'm gonna keep it 200 points from top. I'm gonna keep it about uh, 40 points from left and 40 from right, and height about 400. Okay, so that looks okay. Um, and now uh, we can actually constrain this box as well. So what we want to do is, um, for this one, what we want to say is, we want half of what we have for the other view. So about 100 points. So this one is 200 from top. Yeah, so we want this 100 from top. So it's half of it is, uh, is showing up. So 100 points from top. And uh, then we're going to maintain it width and height about 150 and 150 there we go okay and this is going to be central line so let's select the uh, horizontally in container and there we have it let's give this um, a nice background color so we can see it a little bit different from the other one I'm gonna choose this color and let's give this one a, 
a nice background color as well. Let's use this one. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and run this. I think we might adjust, we might have to adjust this a bit to keep it half. So we're gonna add about 25 points to this. Yeah, about 25 points is, is actually gonna be good. So let's uh, add, so these two points collide with the top bar of this, of this view. So I'm gonna say top is going to be 125. That's perfect. Okay, there we go. And uh, and now uh, what we're going to do is um, we are going to drop a label. So let's take a label. Drop it at the center of this in internal view somewhere. And make sure it's actually inside this view right here. And uh, we're gonna basically say this is gonna be zero point from all sides. And it's going to be center aligned. Let's change this font to be custom. And we're gonna choose Avenir next. And gonna increase size a bit. Okay, that's good. And we can change the uh, color to be white. I think medium is going to look better. Okay, there we go. Medium italic maybe. Yeah, that's better. Okay, and uh, let's change it to login. And uh, now we're going to basically drag and drop some controls here. So let's go ahead and drop a label. And this label is uh, going to be for email. So this is a login screen that we are designing. And let's search for text box or text field. And we're going to drop it right there. copy these two copy and paste and I'm gonna drag these at the bottom here and can call this one password there we go okay perfect now uh, what we need is a button and sign up and uh, a UI image uh, control so let's go ahead and search for button and we're going to drop a button here. Okay, and uh, increase the size. All right, perfect. So let's start constraining these so we can see like, you know, how it looks. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to select these two labels and going to set their font to be have them there next. A little bit big. And uh, let's change their color too. And let's give it a constraint. So I want it to be 100 points from top, about 30 points or 20 points from left. That's good enough. And we want this one to be 10 points from top, 20 points from left, 20 points from right, and then height, we're gonna give it 50. Okay, and we're going to drag these down a bit, and let's constrain this one as well. So this one is going to be about 15 points from top, 20 from left, 20 from right, 
Uh, we don't need write actually for this one, so we can leave it and we can just add. And uh, this one is going to be 10, 20, 20, and height to be 50. And add that. And then our button is going to be about 10 points from top. Actually, let's, in, let's decrease this size a bit. So I would say instead of 100, we'll use maybe 80 or 90 is good actually. Yeah, there we go. So 90 is good. So we have a little bit more room here to work with and we can say 15. Um, I guess this one had 15 points, right? Yeah, 15 points for a button at the top. 20, 20, and 50 as height. There we go. Now let's go ahead and give our button a uh, new font and a new background. We're gonna select Heaven Air next. A little bigger font, maybe medium italic, and text color to be white. There we go. And the background color to be, we're gonna pick this color here. And that's that. So call this login. Uh, gonna drag and drop another button. And this one is gonna be a little bit closer on the side. So call this. Sign up, changes properties, good and gonna give it a constraint so we're gonna constrain this one um, probably about this this uh, right here is good so eight points from here ten points from top and that's good enough and now we're simply gonna say maybe let's stop it and uh, we're simply gonna say Control shift L, image view. I'm gonna drop an image view here somewhere. And I'm gonna resize it. And gonna put it right in the corner. Give it a constraint about 50-50 uh, is, or 40-40 is actually better. And I'm gonna give it eight and from the bottom all right that's good let's go ahead and run this so our first screen is uh, almost ready uh, we just need to uh, give it these round shapes and everything so uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna uh, pause here uh, this is a good stopping point and uh, in the next video we are uh, going to basically uh, create a new control uh, which is going to give uh, round edges uh, for uh, all your rectangles and uh, basically <coughs> going to import some resources uh, to, to give it uh, to give this image view an image so we can actually show it up here and also going to work with borders and everything all right so uh, this is it for this video and uh, thanks again for watching i'll see you guys in next video thank you